You want to know who I'm fucking? Hmm? Come closer, come closer. I'm fucking weird. Hi, so in Egypt, at least, we don't say I love you. We say this other thing, which I think is far more beautiful. And it's, um, ah, ah, yo is a gariba, it's a gariba awi. Here's how to change the colour of your clothes to whatever colour you want using PixArt. So go to adjust and change the hue of your picture to whatever shade you want and the brightness and contrast is optional. So this is going to change the colour of your entire photo but all you have to do to resolve this is erase any colour that you don't want. And this app makes it super easy to fix any mistakes. And if you want to see how I changed my background then check out my last video. So I'm making a video for my last TikTok. Everybody had questions and everybody had a lot to say. I did not expect it to blow up like it did. Like, y'all go crazy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, everybody was saying, like, they would be nervous. He didn't make me feel nervous at all. Like, I wasn't nervous. I was perfectly comfortable. Everybody was asking, like, where his shop was. It wasn't in a shop. It was in a garage. Um... There were some other questions. They were like, what's his at? I don't know his at. His, my friend, she made the appointment and I just went. I had no idea who this man was. I just went and got my tattoo. Now, this is the picture of what I got. It says honey and it's in that area. But I didn't want to show mine because I don't want my butt out on TikTok. So, yeah, that's why. And I know a lot of you may say that little word didn't hurt that bad. It hurt to me because that was my first one and I have a low pain tolerance and I'm a big baby, so it hurt. What are the four words that every man wants whispered in their ear? I made chicken nuggets. Okay, so I did the Google Forms quiz thing with my friend group and we're just going to show you the results. Hi guys, here's another cake decorating video and 
While I was making this cake, like right before I did the final layer of frosting, I found out the results of the election, so I was in a good mood while doing that part. And lucky for me, this cake also happened to be blue. It looks kind of teal on camera, but it's more blue in person. And also my phone died at this part, which is why it jumps. But anyways, finding out the results of the election was a good way to start my morning yesterday. And all the Trump supporters crying on my For You page made it even better. But anyways, moving on, I haven't done a textured cake like this in probably, I want to say a year and a half. But I think they're really cool. I feel like I should do them more. I don't know why I don't. They're kind of frustrating to get right because you have to get a good, like, even layer of frosting around the whole cake. But when they turn out good, they look very elegant. And also, I do want to say I feel like my lettering has been getting better, which is good because it used to look so bad. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye! Hi guys, here's another cake editing video, and this is a chocolate cake with strawberry cream cheese buttercream, which I think sounds delicious. Like, I don't mind normal buttercream, but I wouldn't say that I enjoy it. But cream cheese buttercream, especially like with strawberry or like other flavors, it's so good. Normal buttercream is just, it's too sweet. It is easier to work with, but some about cream cheese buttercream just hits different. Anyways, I do want to talk about my nails real quick because normally my nails are just like one color, no designs, whatever, because I do them myself and like designs seem too hard. But I saw this thing about how you could use acrylic paint and like paintbrushes and paint on designs to your nails. And I thought that was so cool. And I tried it. So I painted these little flowers on my nails and I just think it's really cute. You can't really see it that well because I don't know, my camera isn't that high def. It's my phone camera, but it's cute. I promise. Anyways, I really like how this cake turned out, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye! Hey guys, here's a cooking video because people have been asking me forever if I cook. My answer is not really, but sometimes. And this is me trying to make the feta pasta, but making it dairy-free and gluten-free because I can't eat those things. Pasta turned out kind of liquidy, but after leaving the fridge overnight, it was fine. And I didn't get a proper shot of the end product because I'm stupid, but whatever. Anyways, what I really wanted to talk about in today's video is the recent rise in hate crimes against Asian Americans. And really this has been happening since the beginning of the pandemic, but feel like it's getting more traction now. If you go to the link in my bio, I have some resources linked where you can read about what's going on. So I highly encourage you to go take 5-10 to 10 minutes out of your day, read testimonials, read news articles, and just learn about what's happening. Sign petitions, donate if possible, just do as much as you can to educate yourself about this topic and spread awareness. Even if you feel like you can't do much, doing whatever you can is still beneficial. So once again, highly encourage you to do that. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi guys, here's another cake dining video and this is a marble cake with vanilla buttercream. And this cake is special because today's Angry Reaction's birthday, so I made a cake. And it's kind of in memory of... not in memory, it's not dead. But like, it's like similar to that first orange cake he duetted because I just wanted to throw it back to that. And that's just kind of the cake that blew us both up, which I think is really cool. But anyways, I did a little outline of his face on top, and Bestie, I'm so sorry, I forgot you're a beard, but you probably look great clean shaven too, so let's just call it an artistic decision, okay? Anyways, I changed the design of the original orange cake a bit because people were being mean about it. I guess if you say don't be mean about it, people just want to be mean more. But it's, it is what it is. But I added a border on the bottom, and I added pearls like I did with the last cake, and yeah. Happy birthday, Angry Reactions. I hope you had a great day today, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, I'm not 100% sure if this one's my favorite, but it sure is a good contender. He temporarily shut his eyes, plunging through the immediate sensation of pain crawling up his spine. I don't know. It's fun imagery. I'm not quite sure on this one, but it's like, it's... It's closer to the Yorkshire area. I'm not sure if I already explained this, but these people target houses and they draw chalk on the front of your house. Um, like just a line of like white chalk. And that shows like which house they're targeting. So actually two minutes from where I live, this woman got jumped because she refused to give her dog to this guy. Our dogs need many walks a day because of their breed. And we've had to stop um, giving them so many walks because of how bad it's getting. But yeah, everyone just like look out for any suspicious behavior. Um, today there was a um, car circling me and my dogs when I took them out. So stay safe. <laughs> I have to whisper because my roommate's still Okay, so I'm going 
these are little two silicone pieces. One is in there. I'm trying to get it out with just one hand. <laughs> so the smaller one is inside of it, and I'm trying to get it out without using sand. Oh, why is it so hard? That's what she said. <laughs> I can't do it. I actually can't do it. Oh, it's making me so mad. I started.